What is good, see if I'm here, I'm to gang game back in the new video today. Alright, going against the Temple of Buc Temple Bay and Buccaneers. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. And out now come the Vikings. And one of the things we like to hit on every year... Damn, we got Cream Hunt in this bit. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Cream Hunt. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You got to be careful because I'm on all that. Here. Escaping the pressure right. Try again with the arm here on second down. Steps away to his left. And he whips that one incomplete there. Ain't nobody get open. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a shot taken off. Damn, dude. Down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to... Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and ten. To begin the drive, here's a hand. Good block by 72. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this step? And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Dot. Man, it's caught at the six yard line. Touchdown, Vikings. Jordan Rager, 42 yards. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Out from the shadows of their goal line. Here's first and 10 from the 11. Off the play fake. Stewart. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Hunt will try going up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and seven. He'll buy some time right. Go. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 42. A good pick up there, 26 yards. No shortage of depressing moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Trying to improvise. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Off the bootleg, Stewart. And he rifles one incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to get that to his running back. Out of the back. Touchdown. And he'll be out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. They'll try and sneak it here, and he'll get it in. Touchdown, Minnesota. It's their quarterback making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Vikings are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's thrown for a touchdown pass, and he's run for one so far. When you're able to watch a guy perform at a high level and do it in multiple ways, yeah, arm, legs, he really helps his team in a big way. You've got to think that they feel great about where they are in this ball game, and they feel even better about him leading their team. Now he's hoping to put them into a better spot after this drive. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Eluding the pressure right. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Big hot offense in mid-season form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Stewart. Pass interference, dang. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll look to throw again. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So illegal touching, Charles. If you set foot out of bounds as a receiver, you oh, set that bounds. To touch it. You nailed it on that one. You've got to be mindful of the sideline. Second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Hunt will take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May. 
Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back on the field. Throwing to start the drive. Stewart flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. And he'll be upended at the Come on, dude. Line. Just a three-yard gain there. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Stewart, that's down the field for Jefferson. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. To throw again. Stewart. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first. No, why would you take us off the field? You? And with just one <clears throat> second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Stewart toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Stewart. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Escaping the pressure right. Get in there. Uh. He's brought down after a very nice game. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him the first down. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he's been terrific in a dual threat role. Really 
and chewing up yardage and getting them points. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? A great play there. Now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell them. On first and 10, Stewart eluding the pressure right. We out. Just pick up that block and I'll repeat him. There he goes right side. Ah. Step out of bounds here inside the 30. A big play there on the scramble. 52 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Now a dump off here complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down. Stewart out to the left there and complete to the tight end. Get in there. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there. But they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Here's a toss right side for Hunt. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Off play action, Stewart. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Another completion there, and you think about the draft back in the spring. He selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned in week one. It, it's got to be quite a whirlwind. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? You said that already, my boy. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They sir. Minnesota's offense takes over possession and this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player they've got the big lead here in the fourth quarter and now can really take some time off the clock in motion right is Osborne now they'll fake it on the jet sweep and instead a handoff up the middle and he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. The bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw on second down. Stewart flushed out right. Ah, uh, 
I had to run it. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored. <sighs> Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds. Bro, why is it so easy? I swear I put it to all night. 92 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. They'll find Osborne here. Down the left sideline. And he'll be out of bounds. 49 yards there. A big one. Boy, another big play late here for offense. Charles It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kareem Hunt. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number. <laughs> Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game on this margin. I mean, this has just... They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Come on, boys. We got it. On 
first down. They'll run with Hunt. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. From the 44 now, here's second and four. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off the play fake. Stewart. Left sideline a dime, and it looks like he's got it. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 19. Handoff up the middle. Hunt fights off the defender. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. We always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This is play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roll, and he found it. We'll see the always a little extra excitement for week. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, boys.